All right, we let everybody get up in here. You already know what it is. You're tuned in to it live and direct. It is Big Dog Chico back with a, another one. We're here, Big Dog Chico show, and I got a special guest with me from the Colorado Buffaloes. We have freshman, my little cousin, because my last name is Cleveland, of course. <laughs> and we're going to talk about it. We got Cash Money Cleveland joining us right here. How you doing, Cash? Good. How you doing? Hey, man, I appreciate you joining me. We finally linked up after uh, – many requests uh going on so uh we're going to talk about it let us know where you're from talk about your family background and uh how's it been at colorado uh so far but so right now let's introduce yourself for everybody let them know where you're from and uh give a small little introduction to you to okay. everybody out there so i'm cash cleveland i'm from texas i was born and raised in texas uh i, I come from a football background both my brothers played one play at receiver at ohio state and then I went. I came from IMG in Florida. I went there for my senior year of high school, and then I came here from there. So I've come from a football background, and I'm from Texas. And uh, coming here has been really good. It's awesome. I love all the coaches, all the players. It's great atmosphere, great people. So yeah, I'm happy to be here. Is that Rockwall, Texas? Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What part of Texas is that? That's like uh, you could say north northeast. I guess you could say northeast. North, northeast. Okay. Yeah, like talk about that, kind of about Dallas. Okay. Yeah, I had a small stint in uh, San Angelo, Texas. That's like oh, west okay. Texas out there. Yeah. yeah. It was dry heat out there. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. hot in Texas. Hey, well, I just got back from break. It was like a hundred degrees every day. You walk outside, you start sweating. It's crazy. Dang, for real. I remember them days. Yeah. I'm out here in Hawaii right now. We got a got a nice breeze, um, so it's not as like that dry heat back home. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, like Colorado ain't even bad compared to Texas. Like even when it gets right. really hot out here, it ain't even as bad as Texas. So that's what I really like. I don't got to deal with the bad, bad heat. <laughs> well, we're going to uh, get into your journey, but you just did a commercial – uh, yeah. Last week, with you was part of the commercial, new commercial that Coach Prime put out, but yeah. we don't have a lot of information on that. What can you tell us about the commercial and uh, some of the guys that was in it? Yeah, no, it was fun. It was definitely a good experience. Uh, he, he, I think he handpicked us, and we all went out there and had a bunch of fun. I mean, going to a commercial with Coach Prime is always fun because he's just funny and he's so fun to be around. You can just enjoy your time with him and. You know, doing his shoots and us being in the background, they having us doing our stuff while he's talking. It's just, it's so funny hearing him talk because he's just a great leader and a role model. So every time you be around him, you know the energy is going to be right. So it looked like it was uh, you, Ben, Shiloh, and yeah. a few others. Yeah, it was, a, it was a decent group. Jimmy was there. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, and a couple of guys, it's probably like their, what, third or fourth yeah, commercial? This your first. Saying. Yeah, some of theirs was like their third or fourth. That was only my second one, but I liked it. Oh, your second one? Yeah, what was, was the other one you were in? Uh, I was in a Boost 2 mobile commercial. Like, it was like, I can't really say, but it was like in the football kind of atmosphere for like the yeah. mobile commercial. And then this one okay. was like almonds. Okay, and do you have an idea when they'll be airing? Did they tell they you They said around the holidays. Or? Oh, that that's gonna that's gonna be fire to look up. You're gonna be with your right. family probably. Yeah. Or it might be in the bowl game. Right. And you right. look up. <laughs> we hopefully in a bowl game or something. Get the yeah. commercials. All right, let's talk some football then. Uh first of all, let's talk about you say you went to IMG Academy your senior year. How did, how was that decision made to go to IMG Academy uh from yeah. your home state of Texas? Yeah, it was definitely a hard decision leaving home before college, but I thought it was like my best choice to do because I feel like that was going to prepare me best for college. And looking back, I'm so glad I made that decision because it's literally just college before college and going there. I just got to experience everything I'm experiencing now. And I kind of, it kind of prepared me for Colorado and being here. It's like the same thing. So I'm glad I did that. And you have a couple of guys who are there in Colorado that was yeah. at IMG Academy. Jordan, um, Jordan and then uh, big uh, coach George Hageman was yeah. there also with yeah, you, or was he? Yeah. Okay. Talk about um, that time at IMG and uh, just bonding with Jordan and uh, how was Coach George's role there when you were yeah, there? Yeah, no, it was it was definitely awesome. Uh, playing alongside Jordan was really fun. You know, growing a relationship with him. We've been friends now for about three years. And just getting to experience that with him going through high school. And then I kind of didn't know where I was going to end up after high school. And he told me, he's like, you tagging along with me. So when he told me that, I was just like so excited to hear that and know that that was the plan. And getting to play with him there and now coming to Colorado, knowing that he's here with me, it's just like a second home. 
that's big time right there. Uh, even back when I came out, uh, I, we kind of went as like a tandem group, or I had a couple of guys that wanted to play. I was like, man, we going together up here. Right. It didn't work out right. later on, but it worked out while we went, and hopefully it'll work out better for you guys. Uh, how's yeah. it been so far being in Colorado? No, it's been awesome. I love it. I love the people. I love the fan base, teammates, coaches, everyone around me. Every time I go into the facility has great energy. It's a good vibe. Everyone's in a good mood. Everything's like everyone's always happy. And I feel like that's going to make us be successful because everyone's growing close together. Even like trainers, weight room staff, all of them, everyone's growing a bond and getting to know each other better. So I feel like that's just help, going to help us win games when it comes down to it. Yeah, every time we see you on well-off videos and stuff, it seems like you have a smile on your face. You know, you're one of those guys. <laughs> one of those guys. Man, that's why I say, hey, we might be cousins for real because I'm always smiling. <laughs> right. <laughs> Long lost cousin. Yeah, right, right. So uh, how was the um, – talk about the offensive line and uh, Coach Phil Lodo playing for him, a professional who's been there doing it for years in the NFL. How's it been uh, playing uh, and, and learning from him? Yeah, playing with playing as Coach Phil as your coach is literally awesome. Like, you know he knows what he's talking about. He's been there. He's done it. So getting to listen to him coach us up and getting our technique right, you, you know you can trust him because he's been in the NFL, played there. So playing under him is just – it's an awesome experience. You know, everything he says, I'm all ears listening, locked into whatever he's saying, just putting it in the back of my head so I can have every technique that he gives me locked into it and knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it every time he gives us an assignment to do. Yeah, and you have guys like uh, Hank Zelenskis yeah. and Yakiri Walker, guys with experience, especially Walker started at UConn last year, and then right. Hank Zelenskis, highly touted coming out of uh, the state of Colorado, got mm -hmm. some experience at center last year. Looked like he might be penciled in as the starter. Uh, yeah. how, 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 how are you looking at it coming in as a freshman and seeing these older guys in front of you, some things that you might learn from them to uh, add to your game? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely great learning behind Hank and Yakari and Brock, Justin, all them. I mean, I just soak up everything they got to say. Any questions I have, I go to them because I know they know what they're talking about. They're doing awesome right now. Every single day they're grinding, working hard. And they're they're great leaders. When you go up to them and you ask a question, they're quick to answer, calm about it, give you the best advice that they can give you. And I feel like that's something I can carry with me along going through this journey with them is – Every time I have a question, I feel comfortable asking it to them because they know what they're talking about. So, yeah, I think Hank's a really great leader, and I look up to him, uh, getting to know him better and grow grow, grow a friend like that. And every time he tells me something, I just know it's it's great advice because he's out there doing it. So. All right, I'm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna pitch you against Hank a little bit right here since you said big Hank, my my guy. That's my guy too. I met him yeah. uh, at the first game I was there. All right, who has the best hair then, you or Hank? Me, no, nah, it's me. For sure. that, <laughs> I'm gonna say me every time. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna take my hair. I mean, he got a little bit more curls, but I definitely got got the length and stuff. So I'm gonna take me. Right. All right, you guys listening in in the chat, y'all can get in and join the conversation. Uh, put some comments in the chat, put questions in the chat. I got my phone right here in my hand. I can look at them and read them out to Cash, uh, who's gracious enough to join us right now in between time of playing college football 25. You know oh, I got to get into that. that. I'm going to ask you about your the ratings. Uh, <laughs> first of all, t what were your ratings and how did you feel about them? They gave me a 65, but, you know, I can't really be mad at it because I ain't really proved nothing in college yet. So when I saw that, I was just like, name for real. But, like, I mean, I can't be mad at it because <laughs> I ain't been on the field yet and I ain't proved nothing. So I really feel like it just puts a chip on my shoulder to go out there and prove something. And they, maybe they right. can up a little bit. Who are some guys that you looked at uh, on the game and you're like, man, he's faster than that or he's stronger than that. He shouldn't be like this. Now, of course, we saw the discussion that was posted on Reach the People Media today hey, I, where they I were was, talking about I was, it. Uh, I was kind of shocked about Charlie's overall because, like, they got him as, like, the four right now. And I can't lie, Charlie off the four. So, and they mm. didn't really give him a good overall. And I feel like he's going to be the first mm. to touch the paint this year. So, that was kind of – when I was going through the roster, I went through everyone. And Charlie was the one that shocked me the most. Charlie? You say you think Charlie will be the first one to touch the paint th this year? Yeah. Why why you why so. you say that? Tell me that. Why you say that? <laughs> I just feel like he will, man. He knows how to get in that box. When we get in that goal line, he better be the one touching the ball, you know? Yeah, for sure. 
Shouts out to Charlie and all the running backs. Uh, who has been some of the newcomers you might have been most impressive, uh, impressed by when, when seeing them come in? Yeah, uh, Dallin Hayden, running back. He's been working really hard. He's been balling out. Uh, Terrell Timmons, he's he been balling. Obviously, Jimmy, Tay, O, Trav, obviously, all them boys been balling. But I would say one that shocks me a lot is Sam Hart. He had tied in from Ohio State. He's been doing really good. It's good mm. to know we have a really firm tight end on the team now that can really go out there and make some catches for us. So, yeah, I mean, they've all been grinding. Micah's been grinding. So we have a really good team this year, and I feel like we're going to shock a lot of people. Nice. We see you guys going to get going one-on-ones a lot. Used to be my favorite part of practice back in the day. Uh, who are some of the – and this comes from the chat also, which I was going to ask, but y'all keep, keep them coming. Um, who is some of the strongest defensive linemen to block in practice? I would say uh, Quinn Barnes and Quinn Barnes. He's hard to block. Big ass Quinn. <laughs> yeah, Kadozi, Quince. Oh, you know all them boys. We got a good D line this year. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad for every offensive line opposing team. I'm telling you, just wait. Tell me this. Tell me this. This little insight right here. Tell me this. How different is it doing one on ones? Uh, without pads versus with pads on it, as an it's, offensive it's lineman. so much different. It, I can't lie. It favors the D-line a lot more because they're I told very you, much I, to grab because it's, you yeah. know, it's a lot. And they're sweating, so it's slippery. With pads on, you can really grab and you can really sit down on bull rushes and stuff like that. So without pads, the looks are so deceiving because the D-line, I mean, it, the drill's made for them, to be honest. But when pads yeah. get on, that's when you're going to really see, like, how it works. Because without that's pads, it, it favors the D-line. People that don't know football, if I had any advice, when you watch them one-on-one without pads, don't judge because it ain't really nothing until the pads get on. Exactly. I try to tell people that. As an offensive player, when I'm blocking, I'm trying to grab these chest plates. That's my I'm hands saying, but they're inside. not nothing to grab. It, it, and there's nothing there. So you can yeah. see a lot of shirt grabbing, a lot of yeah. reaching and, and slipping off these wet, right. big, sweaty defensive linemen. That's Trust what I'm me. saying. I understand. Wait till the pads get on. Then you can really see the good looks. Exactly. Right now, it's an offensive line. You're just really kind of just working on your feet and your working hand placement. Your technique, that. your feet, where you're punching your hands at, the little things. I mean, you just know when the pads get on, that's when it's going to be a real look. Exactly. Yep. So, hey, take it with a grain of salt, guys out there. Kaz, um, another question. Give them your height and your weight right now. Give them your height weight right now. I'm about 6'3", 275 right now. I'm looking to gain about 15 pounds against a 290. Okay. And that that'll be your ideal weight to play yeah, at about two ninety. I, I want to play around two ninety, two ninety five. So they've been bulking me up, been lifting hard, eating a lot of protein, drinking protein shakes, trying to bulk up, add some more weight on. And that's not hard to do out there with Chef Solomon right. as, as the chef. <laughs> what, what is what has been your favorite uh, meal so far that uh, you've had from Chef Solomon? My favorite is either the crab legs or. I would say that it's like these chipotle bowls. They got like chicken, steak, ground beef, rice, beans. Oh. So, yeah. I would say the crab legs or that. And when I see that on my phone on those days, I get happy. Wait, so, all right. So, I got a couple questions. One, um, what are some of the things that you might eat to bulk up? How many times a day can you eat? And what, do they send you the menu to your phone? Yeah, so we have an app on our on our phone. It's called CU Athlete, and you see the menu for each day. And so, I, for me personally, what I've been trying to do is eat, eat or drink, can just consume at least my body weight of protein. So like, I try to get 250 grams of protein in minimum a day. So I've been eating mm. probably three to four times a day, and I probably drink two protein shakes a day. Oh man, that sounds like a college athlete's heaven right yeah, there. Yeah, trying to bulk up. <laughs> <laughs> is there um like a limit do they tell you hey you can't come in the calf this many times or what, like well for the guys that are overweight yes for the guys that are underweight no oh wow nice all right more questions coming in who is the funniest offensive lineman <laughs> funniest offensive lineman uh i would say between jordan justin <laughs> and then probably khalil Jordan Justin okay. Khalil. When those three are together, it, yeah, it's funny, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Has Khalil seemed to emerge as kind of like the leader of the offensive yes, line? Or, or for sure. Some, maybe, maybe some silent leaders out there also. 
There, there definitely is some silent leaders out there, but I would say the one that steps in the most and leads is Khalil. I would say he's the leader of the offensive line. But some silent leaders like Hank, he don't talk much. He just do his job. But when he needs to talk, he will. He's a he's a silent leader. That's someone I look at as a silent leader. Nice. Um, loving the uh, the talent that's on the offensive line right now that uh, Coach was able to put together. Um, Cash, uh, saw Kelsey talk to you. Did that surprise you? Uh, I think it surprised me a little bit because I was kind of caught off guard because my dad sent me the video because he met him and Jason Kelsey, you know, made that video. No, it was it caught me off guard. But I was like, dang, that's cool. You know, that definitely gives me some extra motivation. All right. That came from the chat. I, I didn't see that video. Jason Kelsey, explain that to everybody who might not, see, might not have seen it. So he basically sent me a video just, you know, talking about how he heard I played center and he was just saying, hungry dogs run faster. <laughs> Cause you oh, know cool. he know my background. He knows I'm working, trying to get in that lineup and stuff. So yeah, that was, that was definitely some inspiration from him, especially and, the best center to ever play the game. Right, and he's one of the guys. Um, I think he might have been a walk on running back when he yeah, first came he was, in. Yeah, he was at like Cincinnati, right? He was a walk on. Yeah, Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so he's one of the fastest, one of the fastest offensive linemen, especially centers that played in the game. Like you said, a uh, future Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. uh, not one of the huge, biggest centers in the game, but very agile, can get to that second level. Who right. are some other centers and, and, and players that you look up to and kind of model your game after? So, I mean, obviously, I've always been a fan of Trent Williams, but he plays tackle. So, yeah. for the interior piece, I would say Jason Kelsey, Quentin Nelson, people, guys like that. Quentin Nelson's on the back end of his career, but when he was in his prime, he could block anyone that was in front of him. But, yeah, I'll, I try to model my game after Jason Kelsey. That's how it's always been. I always watch his tape over and over and over again and see what he does, see the little things he does, and try to put that into my game. Which coach do you feel has made the biggest impact so far? Uh, I would say for, for me, Coach Phil, because he's definitely improved my game mentally and physically. And so, yeah, Coach Phil, I would say he's been helping my technique. He always concentrates on what I'm doing. Every drill I go through, he correct he corrects what he needs to correct or he'll tell me I did it exactly how it needs to be done. So I would say Coach Phil, for me, you know, he always corrects the little things and gets me where I'm trying to go. How has uh, Coach Pat Shermer's offense looked so far to you? And how is, yeah, this, uh, how is your interaction with him? I love Coach Pat. You know, from day one, he's always been a real guy. He always talks to me every time he sees me. He's a great OC, calls great plays. I think we're going to be so su successful this year with him as our OC because he comes up with a lot of creative stuff, but also he keeps it simple for us. So we don't have to think a lot. We can just play ball. Okay. Uh, let's talk about some college football once again. Uh, how, how, you, you say you've been on the game so far. Uh, how's it been? Who are some guys you played on the team? And what was the results? <laughs> so I've played a lot of online games, but I played uh, Terrell Timmons, one of our wide receivers. He came over and he played me. And he was Colorado. And I was USC and I won. <laughs> so, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was okay. kind of wishing he won, but it didn't happen like that. Yeah, you didn't do the Travis and Shadour thing where they played Colorado versus Colorado. Yeah, yet? I, we did. We did do that the first game, but then we switched it up the second game. Yeah, yeah, cool, man. Any what what are what are some of the games? Uh, maybe improvements, new features, or something that really stands out and makes the game what it is this year. I mean, I, I played NCAA fourteen like when I was a little kid, so. If, from that to this is obviously like a huge improvement. Like the graphics are mm -hmm. insane compared to the old one. But I think it's a lot more realistic because like if a defender's in front of the receiver, instead of like in Madden, like if you throw that, it's a pick every time. You can like really place the ball as the quarterback, like pinpoint yeah. where you want to throw it. So I feel like that's like the biggest improvement because not everything's a pick. Like if the guy's open, like, and you put it in the right spot, he's going to catch it. That's what I like about the game the most. Nice. What what is your major right now? Oh, uh, communications. Cool. That was my major also. Make sure you uh take advantage of it. Dog. Take advantage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, sh let me see. We got more co uh, questions coming in. Y'all make sure y'all get in the chat. Oh, I got to give a shout out to Goonsville Athletics out in Colorado. Y'all check them out. Goonsville Athletic, Goonsville Clothing. Also, I put a link in the chat right now. Um, as you see. Big Cash is wearing the battle across his chest right there. I know it's not an official endorsement, but shout out to battle. We might get some gloves. Shout something. out to you know battle, I mean? yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, what are some things that the fans out there might not know about Cash that you want them to know about Cash? Uh, I mean, I feel like a lot of fans know that I'm a big believer in God, but that's one thing I always like to share when I get that type of question is I'm a big believer in God. I stand firm in my faith and I always pray that God has a plan for me and I always follow the things that he's doing in my life. That's stuff that me and Coach Prime share in common. And he always calls me to pray, as most of y'all know. So I love when I get the opportunity to stand up in front of the team and give God his glory for everything he's done in my life. Because without him, I wouldn't be the man I am today. And I'm just so thankful for the position he puts me in and all the blessings he gives me. Talk about some morals that stick with you from your family that, that you know, being away from them that you carry yeah. with you and, and that you might live by. Yeah, well, I mean, my dad's always instilled, instilled it in me and since I was a kid of knowing right from wrong and doing what's right all the time, even when no one's looking. So I always try to live by that. Every day I wake up, I pray that God gives me the blessings and the ability to spread his word. And that's something my dad has always told me to do is every opportunity I get to spread God's word. So that's something that every day I wake up, I pray that God puts me in the position to share his word and Every time I have the opportunity to spread his word, I do. So, yeah. Nice. What is your, What do your uh, mom and dad do? What do your family do? And give a shout out to everybody out there. Yeah, shout out my mom, my dad, everyone, my, my brothers. You know, I miss y'all, but we get a break coming up soon. So I can't wait to get home and see them. All uh, right, and your brothers, I, I didn't get their names earlier. Give them their names, former athletes also. So my oldest brother is Cutter. He played de defensive end at Oklahoma State. He played for a couple of years, and then he ended up going into a foreign company. And then my brother, Corbin, it goes Cutter. Cutter's the oldest, Corbin's the middle, and I'm the youngest cast. So we're all C's. And I cool. got this uh, tattoo. It's CCC. It's my initials is CCC, and it, my brother's name is CCC. So, yeah, nice. I got that. And then my brother played wide receiver at Ohio State. He played there for three years and then transferred to SMU. And he had four foot surgery, so he ended up uh, being done. And now he's working for my dad. Okay. Cool. I, well, I'm I'm double C, Chico Cleveland. I'm two C's, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Cutter, Cash, and, and then Corbin. what was the other one? And Corbin. Corbin. I like yeah. those. You, do you have any sisters or just three boys? So I have a half sister on my mom's side, and her name's Harper. Okay. Shout out to Harper also, man. And uh, hey, y'all stay tuned for more from Cash Cleveland. Hopefully, we can check back in with them. And uh, also get his parents on for prime parents as we we'll crank out. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to make that happen for sure. Definitely. We're going to crank out season number three uh, of prime parents coming up. Y'all stay tuned. Big Dog Chico Show. Get you some Goonsville's clothing. Get you some white cocoa, coconut water. I don't have that with me on hand, but y'all know what it is. Cash, any other shout outs you want to give, man? Um, let me see. I might need to check these chats, see if I'm missing any questions also. But give some shout outs and uh, anything that you might have uh, left out right now. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate you for having me on the show. You know, it's been a long time coming. We've had to reschedule a couple of times, but I'm finally glad to get to come out, come, come out here and talk to all my fans. Uh, thank you for having me, most importantly. And all, all our fans, thanks for supporting us. Keep supporting us. The more y'all support us, the more we're going to do our thing this year. You know what I'm saying? So y'all keep supporting us, and we're going to keep uh, staying in touch with y'all, and we're thankful for y'all. All right. Before we go, we know we got to ask about Travis, Shador, Shallow, and some of the big names on the team. Uh, how has it been around such, you know, I guess, impactful-type college football players with Shador Sanders, Travis Hunter, and a few other guys on that on that squad? Yeah, no, I, I think it's great. It's awesome. You know, being around Shador, he's real funny. He's jokes and all, but when it's time to be serious, he locks in. He's a great leader. He he gets the offense right every time we're on the field in the huddle. He's a great leader. He knows how to talk. He knows how to get us going. Shiloh's a great person. He's super funny. So he he's the jokester out of the out of those three, and he gets us yeah. all laughing and stuff. Travis is hilarious, but that comment he made about us ain't finna slide. But you know what? It, yeah, it is I was gonna ask is. that. I was gonna ask that. Hold up, time out. Rewind. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so. I saw I saw where people were saying it. I didn't hear the actual comment, but I'm sure it was kind of like in the realm of the game, in the floor of the game. Like, he was like scrambling out with Shador, and he was like, he said something like, it's just like real life, our online can't block, but it's going to be different this year. <laughs> but you that's, know, it was, you know, it was kind of re re yeah, related to last year. That's you what know? I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So it's all right, but hey, he better give us our props after the games when Shador got all the time in the world back there. He better give us our props. That's right. And the main thing is, though, I like to hear 
an offensive lineman, like you're saying right there. And I'm sure the rest of the squad took it like, okay, well, we'll show them then. They show you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, and that's what you want to see. Yeah. Right, man. So, hey, shout out to the whole O-line. Uh, I wish I can give a run now, now, but I don't want to miss anybody out there. <laughs> Coach Prime recently did his, uh, I guess, top five, and he named uh, Jordan. He named uh, Hank, Justin, uh, Tyler, yeah, and yeah. Khalil. But he yeah. also said, man, we're about 10 deep yeah. of guys who can start. So right. you got Tyler Johnson, like you said, Kerry Walker, uh, uh Wyatt Hummel and, and a yeah. few other guys out there, man, who really has some experience who could play. Shout out to Big Boyd also. A um, yeah. couple other guys on that offensive line who making some noise who it might been a might not have named um, so far. Uh, Zach, Zach Owens, Peyton Kirkland, they've been balling, doing their thing. Big uh, boys. Phil, Phil Houston, Reem Harden, Kareem Harden, yeah. they've been, everyone been balling. So, you know, like Coach Phil tells us every day we come in right now, that there ain't no starters and everyone's battling for a position. So, we all know that. We're all going out there every day, giving it our best and just see what happens. Going with the flow, grinding, everyone works together. We all battling for a position, but at the end of the day, we all love each other and we're all there for each other. So, it's fun and I love it. Yes, sir. Give us some things you might have learned uh, from Coach Prime from being around them. Uh, in such a short time. Yeah, being around Coach Prime is awesome. You know, he he carries around himself like no other, and he's a great leader and role model. So looking up to him and having a head coach like him that can explain where we're trying – he's been there. He knows where we're all trying to get to. So every time he talks, we all take it in. We know he knows what he's talking about. And we just listen to the message he always trying to portray because we know it's something positive and something he's trying to do, and he's trying to get us all where we're trying to go. So I think every time – we're around him and we're listening to him. It's just great advice from someone like him. Yes. All right, guys. Hey, that's Cash Cleveland. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Taylor made Miss NY's finest, BP, Troy Bly. Get some names in here now. Selma <laughs> Johnson, Marie S. Marie said, God bless you, Cash. God has a plan and purpose for your life. Your parents did a great job with you. You have a wonderful personality. Keep shining. Appreciate that. God bless you. Yes, indeed. Um, J Jermaine, uh, Jamie and Blackman, Kenneth Hudson, always in here. Uh, he said you'll be continuously blessed. Nate O, Troy Bly, and everybody else, we thank you. Uh, Cash can get in the comments and probably reply to some of you guys. Cash, do you have a YouTube page yet? Uh, yeah, I actually do, but I, I can send it to your uh, Instagram, I think. I I'm going to start making some content. I got to. I'm going to start also <laughs> streaming the, uh, the game, too. When I get my okay. setup and stuff, I'm gonna stream the game. We gotta get one in too. What's yeah, your what's your YouTube? To. We got is it cat is it cash uh Cleveland? What is I it? I think it's just cash Cleveland. But I can double All check right. on that. Hey, y'all get over there, subscribe. I'll put it in the comments also. We're gonna finally get up off of this thing. All right, 30 minutes in, Cash Cleveland, Big Dog Chico. We up and about this thing. We appreciate y'all joining. Y'all know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, comment, all the other good stuff. We out of here. Peace in the Middle East. Yeah.